Hi folks, this is Adam DeMont from Fortex Support, back again with another video tutorial for you. Today I'm going to show you how you can integrate ChatGPT into Microsoft Teams using Power Automate. Uh, we're going to build one automated cloud flow. You're only going to need one OpenAI account to do this. Um, and what we're going to do is use uh, the question or a question asked in a Teams channel by a user as a variable that's passed over to ChatGPT through an HTTP post request. And then the response it gets from that request is sent back to the user in a, in a reply to that uh, message. Um, so ChatGPT supplies the answer and then uh, Teams passes it along to the user from ChatGPT. Uh, so it's only a, a few st steps. We have one trigger and three actions. Uh, the three actions are within a, an apply to each. So there might be four technically. Um, but it's going to be a quick tutorial um, and we'll run through a few tests uh, once the flow is set up. So the first thing you're going to need if you don't already have one is an OpenAI account. To do that you're going to hop over to beta.openai.com and sign up for a free account. And uh, you may get a warning saying it's not available at this time. Um, they're looking to scale their site um, so you might have to wait a little bit. Um, it even warns you up here. If you're lucky enough to get in or if you already have an account, you can follow along with these steps to integrate this tool into Microsoft Teams channels. So once you have an account and you're signed in, you can go up here, click on your name and go to view API accounts. That'll open this page here and you can create a new secret key by clicking this button here. And that will display a key for you. This is just showing a hidden one here. It's not showing the whole key that I have. And you'll want to keep your secret. Um, if it ever gets exposed, just make sure you delete it from here and create a new one to use. So once you have all that set up and you have your secret key uh, saved somewhere safe, um, hop over to Power Automate. And we're going to click on Create on the left side here and click on Automated Cloudflow. When you do that, we're going to look for the trigger that's called when key, uh, keywords are mentioned. So you can just type in keywords. And we're going to use this Microsoft trigger here. And I'm just going to call this integrate chat GPT into Microsoft Teams for the uh, flow name. And then you'll click create here. I've already created this flow, so I'm not going to, I'm going to skip past there and just hop right into the flow and walk you through each of the steps. So once the flow screen has loaded for you, um, go ahead and expand the trigger step when keywords are mentioned. Select the channel for the message type. Whatever channel you're deciding to use, my, my channel name for this example is just called ChatGPT for the um, uh, name, which is why the channel is down here. The keywords I'm looking for to trigger this are just ChatGPT. So if a user says, hi ChatGPT, can you answer this question or can you do this for me? Uh, that's what will trigger this to start. So once it starts from that channel, it's going to get the details of the message that was sent. And then we're going to send an HTTP request with those message details. We're going to use the body content from the message details uh, in the prompt of the body here in the JSON. Right here where it says AP I, uh, key goes here. You're going to want to replace that with whatever your secret key is. I've uh, erased that for now uh, for this tutorial just to show you uh, what it looks like without exposing my secret key. So once you have this all filled in this way, and all this is documented on OpenAI's uh, documentation page. Um, so if you want to dig into that a bit more and go into more details, you can. Uh, I believe the max tokens is, I think it's more than 2,000. I, th I could be wrong, but I think it's 6,000 um, currently, but um, 2,000 for this example is, is plenty. Uh, once you have that step, we can go ahead and collapse that. And just make sure you get all these details in here. Um, once again, this is all documented on their website as well. And then the final step is just to reply to um, the message in the channel. And we're going to use the reply to message ID here, the same one we used from here in the parent message. Reply to message ID, reply to message ID. We're going to select the same channel, um, uh, teams and cha team and channel that we selected from the trigger. Uh, we're going to post in that channel 
And for the message, we're going to use this expression here. And I'll pull that up here so you can see it better. So the body of HTTP, we're going to get the choices from the JSON and just grab the text uh, choice. So that'll give us the answer um, to the question, whatever is responded. So once I ask a question over here, whatever it gives me for the answer, like if I was to click here, I'll just send that one as an example. Oh, let me refresh my page here. So I'm just going to click on this example here. So that's what would start when I entered the question. This is the trigger, and then this is the response that's being created. Once that stops generating, it grabs this response and then sends it back to the user. This one's taking a little bit of time to generate, but this is what we're going to be grabbing is whatever's in this here, in this whole space. So if there's code in here, we can grab that too. Um, We'll want it formatted a specific way, so you'll want to add for the pr add the pre tags in your um, question. Just ask them to use pre tags in the code so that you can uh, view the code through HTML. So now that we know how it's going to work, once you have your flow saved, we can go ahead and test this out. So to do that, we're going to hop over here, and I'm going to back out of here too. I won't save that, so it goes back to uh, the default, which has my secret key in there. So once you have your saved with your secret key, we can go ahead and test this out. So once I ask a question, I'm going to come back to this page and we can see the, the flow run also. So let's hop over to our Teams app and click on the uh, team and channel that you selected in your flow. Click on New Conversation and let's ask it a question. I'm going to say, hey ChatGPT, can you tell me what the capital of California is? I'm going to send that. And it should respond pretty quickly for this question. The capital of California is Sacramento. Thanks, ChatGPT. What about the capital of Nevada? The capital of Nevada is Carson City. Let's try another question. Let's do... Hi, ChatGPT. Can you give me a list of the top five highest grossing movies of all time? And I'm going to click Send. And we'll see what that comes back with. There we go. Avatar, Titanic, Star Wars The Force Awakens, Avengers Endgame, and Jurassic World. These are as of 2021, since that's as far up to date as uh, ChatGPT is at this time. And for the last one, let's get it to write us some code. I'm going to say, ChatGPT, use pre and code tags to show me sample HTML and CSS code. And as you can see, it's rendered the code here instead of, or it's it's not rendering the code, it's showing the code. Um, and it's triggered again because I have ChatGPT in the code here, so I'm actually going to go back here. So it doesn't trigger a bunch of times. I think we're good. Okay. Yeah, we're good. But yeah, you can see we've got the HTML here. And it's even separated it, CSS, HTML. We've got a container here, an H1 and a P. And you can see we've got class container, H1 ref, and a P tag. So those are a few examples of how you can use it as it's after it's integrated into a Microsoft Teams channel. So if you liked what you saw in this video, please give me a like, share, or subscribe to this channel. Uh, I'd really appreciate it, and I'll be back again next week with a new video. Take care for now.